How's it going there folks? This is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, and this is a video review of TipSkip. This is a very interesting little application for your iPhone or iPod Touch, which retails for 99 cents. Now, it's not made by Native American speakers or Native English speakers, you can just tell by the application description, and there's hardly any ratings, but it is a pretty neat little app I've come to really like. Now, it's not without its flaws, which we'll discuss in just a minute, but it's a great concept, and it's worth 99 cents just for the novelty, because it's such a riot. So, what I'm gonna do is launch TipSkip, and what it does is it allows you to control your iDevices music selection uh, without ever having to touch the device. It's by using some different commands, which I'll show you, which allow you to skip tracks, go back, and it's pretty neat. So first of all, to select the, the playlist you wanna start, you have to click this little button in the bottom left. Now it does require you to select a playlist, which I don't like. I've never been a playlist person. I've never been big on playlists. Um, they've always been quite an eyesore to me. I mean, I just grew up in that, I didn't grow up in the mixtape generation. I grew up where song was at your hands and all you had to do was type the first three characters of the band you wanna play and there you go. Also, I'm really a big album listener, so I don't like shuffling songs. I like listening to albums start to finish. And so playlists have never really been my uh, my thing. And so that's one thing that bugs me about TipSkip, and it's not an SDK limitation because there are apps that let you choose it, but this app makes you choose a playlist to start. Now there is a way around it if you absolutely do not want to listen to a playlist. You can go into iTunes, or I guess it's iPod, um, and now iOS, in iOS 5 it's the Songs little app, but um, I currently have iTunes Match, which has just been a disaster for pretty much everything yet. It's still very, very sketchy. But So I just disabled iTunes Match, so I only have uh, 23 songs on here. But what you can do is you can click it, and then you can select the song or the band or the album, and Tip Skip will not interfere. Uh, it'll continue to use that. But uh, let's just say all songs. Now it's going to start to play the song. Now just like any app, I can press the screen and it'll pause. I can press the screen, it'll unpause, swipe left, swipe right. Okay, basic commands, basic controls, right? Well, what I can do is I can press the lock button here, and this is required. Unfortunately, the app does not work if the iPhone screen is off. It does need to be on, which means you're gonna lose battery life a lot faster, and it just is a little bit irritating, but you can't blame the app developers. It's a limitation of the Apple SDK. But what we have here is the lock screen. Now. Let's play this real quick. Okay, now we're gonna lock it, now watch. All I have to do to skip to the next track, hit the table twice, okay? To go back, three taps will take me back. Two taps forward, two taps forward, two taps forward, three taps back. It's brilliant, okay? Now, the cool thing is how sensitive it is. If you go into the settings section right here, you can choose the sensitivity, so you can make it when you run, like you nearly, you seriously have to knock on the device to get it to start. Oops, I just opened the connect to Facebook. Or you can make it really sensitive like I have it right now and you barely have to tap at all. Now, what I could do is I could tap clear here on the end of the table. Let's go over here for pure demonstration sake. Let's put this right here, okay? We're gonna press done, start playing again, lock the screen, and I'm gonna tap right here. Now watch this, look how little I tap. Two fingers. That's barely a tap at all. Let's do even less. So it seriously picks up like every minute movement. It's brilliant. I actually don't even know how it works. I assume it's accelerometer, but you can move this and it doesn't like skip or anything. And it also isn't sound activated because I don't know how it works, but it really does work super, super well. Um, there are a few beefs here and there. It will like mysteriously skip track sometimes and start playing like out of nowhere. And so it's not without its flaws, but it is a really, really well polished app. It is pretty beautiful and I really, really like the functionality of it. It is basic, it doesn't do a whole lot, but when you're on your desk and you don't wanna to have to fiddle through to the next song or when, the, the, my favorite feature so far has been when I'm biking, um, I throw my iPod in my pocket and I don't wanna to have to pull it out to fiddle with it and if I don't have headphones that have the inline controls, it's really quite annoying. So all I have to do is uh, start the song, hit the lock button, and then this can be in my pocket. I knock on the back and it starts going. So this can be in my pocket. You just hit the phone, 
<laughs> See, there's the functionality issues. I don't know what I did there. And it skips to the next track. It's really cool. It works 95% of the time, and it's been so much fun to use. If you don't think you're ever going to use it, maybe just try purchasing it for the fun of it. It is a lot of fun, and I've really been playing music through my iPhone rather than my computer just because I'll listen to a song and I'll be like, nope, next, and I'll hit it. And it's really great. Um, again, it's not without its flaws, but for 99 cents, it's a must buy. It's great, and I really, really like it. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment, check out Tip Skip in the App Store. It's kind of a tongue twister. And as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks. This video is brought to you by Roku, Netflix, Hulu, Music, Live Sports, Angry Birds, and a whole lot more. All on your TV for just 60 bucks. So much fun for so little. Visit treadedus slash Roku to learn more.